Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today is kind of a viewer request. Now, the viewer probably has forgotten that they requested this video. My bad. It takes me a while to get things done. Either way, I do things on my own time. They get done. Just, just, we're just going to leave it at that. I did have someone a little bit ago ask me, what do I do after I'm done with a kit? Now, as you can see, this is my mother and child kit, my Harbor Freight containers. Um, I didn't kit it down yet. Why? Because I'm lazy, that's why. Don't judge me. But we're going to kit it down today. We're going to chit chat a little bit and kit it down. We're going to try to chit chat and kit it down. So first things first, you get your diamonds that are extra that you are done with. And you get some baggies. Now, you... there we go. Too much coffee. All right. Is that a thing? That's not a thing. Anyway, these baggies are actually from Walmart. Now, if you go to Walmart in their crafting area, they have bead bags, like with people that do beading. Um, the bead bags are just these tiny little, I don't know the measurements, but they're teeny tiny little baggies. Like they're not that big. And these are what I use to kit down my projects. So, and because I made them stickers, and if you don't know, you can just peel these stickers right off here. If it leaves a residue, that's fine. Uh, I think I was watching Jeremy Fryer, and he was talking about if you have problems getting stickers off, take a blow dryer to it for a few seconds, and then it should come right off. So I haven't tried that yet, mostly because if I turn on a blow dryer around my dogs, they try to attack it. But these are the stickers from the Xyron sticker maker, so comes right off right right so we're just gonna put that there and then Maggie of course gave me an old loss sticker so yeah anyways so how do I kit my projects down what I normally do is I take my diamonds now I don't mix my diamonds I know a lot of people just you know they find their bags and they're all organized I am not organized when it comes to kitting down my stuff for those people who are wondering where do all my kits go or my diamonds go whenever I'm done kitting down, I have this double decker stacker container and essentially I pour these into baggies and then throw them in here. And then when I need a color, I literally just scramble through here to find it. Um, I don't worry too much about organization. As you can see, I have a bag of just Diamond Art Club and actually that's Maggie's bag for her kit that she was working on. She's actually almost done with that. I don't know where she put it though. I think it's in her room. Anyways, so yeah, so here's a baggie that I kit it down. I want to say it's probably from like K Rico Siren. And as you can see, there's a piece of tape in there with the symbol on it. It's from the container. I just take the container sticker or piece of tape and I actually stick it on the inside of the bag so that if that were to fall off, it falls off in the bag and I still know what color that is. As you guys already know, I am colorblind, so I don't have time for the sticker to fall off or them to get stuck together or something. So I go ahead like that. See, there's a piece of tape in there with yarn on it. Um, so I go ahead and I just put the tape on the inside of the bag so that whenever I go looking for it, I go, oh, okay, this is 3371. Cool. Oh, this is 848 in round. Cool. Now, I don't indicate round or square or anything like that. Uh, I think me visually looking at it is enough. But, yeah. So, those are actually some pretty good 413s. Anyways. So, yeah. So, that's where my diamonds go whenever I kit down. So, we're going to kit down mother and child. It did turn out to be an awfully nice kit. So, if you haven't checked out Cotart, go check them out. And from what I hear, they have new kits coming out. And I will be showing one of the new kits here very soon. Either way. So, you just peel this sticker off. And they come off real easily. Like, yeah. Let's zoom you in a little bit. You want, you want to come in? Come in. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're going to bring you down a little bit. Nope. Nope. Right there. So, then I take the sticker... I open the bag and I just stick the sticker on the inside of the bag. Now it doesn't have to be straight or whatever. My OCD does act up a little bit so I try to make it as straight as possible but trying to get my big bear paws into one of these tiny little bags is somewhere near impossible. I could do like flip it inside out and do it and then I gotta flip it. That's a whole lot of work I'm not willing to do. 
So I usually just stick my finger in, make sure it's in there, and again, I put it on the inside so it, if it falls off, I still know what's what. So as you can see, that sticker's on the inside of the bag. And I'm doing this on the back of one of my other canvases, uh, my Starry Night canvas. I had to stop working on it to work on a tester pattern, so I have not finished that yet for those wondering. And that's why, because I spent the last couple of days taking a break and doing a tester pattern. It was a fun tester pattern. Hopefully I get to show you guys that one here soon in one of the magazines. So yeah, so there's one. And then on to the next one. And I literally just do this the entire time and it doesn't usually take forever in a day. And this, this kit only had like 25 colors. I think somebody said it looked like it had more and I had to go back and check because I was like, hold up, did I say something wrong? I'm like, no, it only has 25 colors. It looks like there's more colors than that, but no, there's only 25. Um, so yeah, this is how I kit down. So we're gonna kit down and chit chat. So it might not be a long whip and chat. So if you haven't guessed, pull out your whip. Let's chit chat. This week has been extremely busy. As you guys already know, we are going on our trip to Pennsylvania here. Not this Saturday, but the next following Saturday on the 1st. So we're pretty excited. We had to get the dogs there. Uh, because the dogs aren't going with us, they're getting boarded, which is the first time I've ever been away from my dogs. Now, obviously I've been away from my little dog Achilles because he lives with my parents and I'm so, so super excited to go see him. I miss my little doggy. But uh, we're gonna go pick up my daughter for the summer and we'll be back within a couple of days. Uh, I think I've decided, I don't think I want to put up videos at that time. If anything, for the people that are new or even if you're not new and you've just never watched all my videos before, uh, this is a great time to go back and watch like videos that you might have missed. Kind of a catch up. And I'm only gonna be gone for like, I don't know, this will be the first week I won't post something and I'm going to try my hardest to not post something. I'm essentially, I've taken a break from YouTube just because every once in a while, everybody needs a break. There's nothing wrong with taking a break. Um, and I'm kind of a workaholic, so I need the break from YouTube and with the whip and rant, it caused a lot of saltiness among a few of the YouTubers. And it's one of those things where I feel like if you, if you're salty about it, that means you have a guilty conscience. And, you know, it is what it is. You don't have to listen to me. People can do what the hell they want with their channels. I don't give a crap. That's just my way of helping. But if, it, if you see it as more of a, an attack than a help, than a, uh, me helping, then it, that's not on me. Whatever. I'm not getting on that soapbox. So, yeah. So, we're planning our trip to... Or, not planning our trip. We're getting the last little bits of stuff we need for our trip. Which, speaking of that, I need to order my bag. So we're taking book bags instead of taking like actual luggage because we're only going to be there for a couple of days. So like, why do I need to take a whole suitcase for a couple of days? The kids each have their own book bag. Mr. Coffee has a book bag for work. I don't have a book bag. Why do I need a book bag? I never leave the house. So I have to buy a book bag and I was looking at this really, really cool one and it's reflective. So when light hits it, it changes colors. And it's rainbow when the colors are not being reflected. So I'm like, uh, yeah, all about that life. So we're getting stuff ready for our trip. This will probably be the start of my slowdown. So as you, if you don't know, I won't be going live on the 31st because our trip is on the 1st. And if I remember correctly, we have to be out of here at 6 in the morning. No, we have to be at the airport by 6 because our plane leaves at 645, I believe. I'll have to go back and check the flight information again, but we have to be out of here super early. And so I will not be able to do the after hours lounge that night, but that's okay. You guys could use the break from my voice and I could use the break from working as hard as I usually do. I say usually, but all I do is sit here and flap my gums and jibba jabba. So I don't know how hard that is, but <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it has been a weird, weird week because this is the last week of school for the kids. I am still waiting on my glasses. I am told that they will be in, what's today? Today is Wednesday. 
that I'm recording this, but I actually uh, won't be putting this up until Thursday. Um, for those wondering about the new releases from Diamond Art Club, I do have a few of them coming in. Um, they were supposed to be in Thursday. If they come in Thursday, I will make sure to have the video up Thursday. But now one of them is all of a sudden reading Friday. So it looks like the Postal Service was only on their A game for about mm, maybe a month. So we'll see. If you, see. if you see another, you know, video go up on Thursday, then you know I got my packages all on Thursday. And why is it? Okay, does anybody else feel this way? Why is it that apparently... Uh, sorry, I got a message saying that the kids will be released early on Friday because it's the last day of school. Anyways, does anybody else feel, maybe this is just me being impatient. It's probably just me being impatient. But whenever the UPS guy comes to my house, now if he's picking up a package or he's delivering to someone else or whatever, that UPS guy is here around, I want to say, 1.30. And I know this because it's around the time I would normally leave to go get the kids from school. Because again, if I don't leave super early to go get the kids, parking is outrageous. So I'm sitting there and I have to return my light pad. Not the fault of the light pad. If you remember that unboxing, it's the unboxing where I also unboxed Jessica Rabbit. Um, or I guess it's not bad, just drawn that way. I was vacuuming the other night while I was in Laura Law's uh, Craft Corners Live. I had to vacuum because I saw this puff of fur on the floor. As you guys know, the dogs are shedding their winter coats and anytime I see a puff of fur, this was like, this wasn't a normal puff of fur though. This looked like I brushed the dog and left the fur on the floor. And I'm like, I don't even brush the dogs in the house. So uh, where did this fur come from? So I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the floor. So as I'm vacuuming the floor, that cord is flat, and I just got diamonds all over this sticker. Oh, well. That cord is flat. So when I went to go vacuum, I got a little too close to it, and my vacuum has very good suction. It's a new vacuum. I have sh dogs that shed like crazy, so of course I have to have a good vacuum. Um, and by good, I mean the best Walmart vacuum I could find. Um, so... I went to go vacuum, got a little too close to it, and it sucked up the entire charge cord for the I, the light pad. So that was another reason why I had to stop because I don't want to strain my eyes on this uh, Starry Nights canvas. Though the symbols are clear, there's a couple of symbols that are tripping me up because they're essentially the same color, just different directions. And I did get a message from Diamond R Club letting me know that, you know, they will be working to fix that. So I, again, above and beyond folks, above and beyond. Um, so I'm just like, okay, uh, now I need a new charge cord for my light pad because I just sucked it up with the vacuum, just hoovered it, my, my charge cord. And it, I'm not talking about like, I got a little bit of it in there and then turned it off. No, no, no. The whole thing was on the spool, the roller spool on my vacuum. I literally had to like, incredible hulk it out of there now the cord held tough except for around the connection ports where it it kind of sh shredded and the copper wire on the inside was showing so i was just like oh dude this freaking sucks so i contacted the seller they told me to contact amazon amazon just was like oh tch, no no problem just return the whole thing we'll send you out another one i'm like no 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 if you guys remember that particular light pad one it cost me 35 bucks and it came with a bunch of extra stuff like a bag and uh it came with a bag and some tracing paper which i don't care about the tracing paper but that bag though that was a nice bag and i didn't want to turn in my whole light pad and run the risk of not getting the bag and because it's like a carrying case for the light pad not that i'm taking it anywhere but i'm just saying i might so they were like, oh, don't worry about it. It's a whole brand new kit. You're within your 30 days. We can go ahead and just replace the whole thing. And then, you know, we'll, we know, we've wrote, written a note, writ, wrote, we've written a note 
stating that the charger needs to be replaced. And I told them it's my fault. It's nothing against the product. The product worked amazing. That cord was seriously heavy duty. Just couldn't hold up to a Hoover apparently. Um, but it, you know, I do love the light pad. And the guy's like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, you'll get another one just like it. Everything that was included in that one will be in this new kit. You'll have it by Saturday. Sweet. So I have a new light pad coming, sort of, new to me. Um, so yeah, then there's that. And then I'm testing, I was testing a pattern, super easy pattern. I'm still looking for a pattern to make with that yarn I got from Hobby, which I'll need to go back on their website and buy some more, because, uh, yeah. But I need to find a design to make with it, because when I get yarn like that, I don't like making, like, little things. I want to make something that's going to use all the colors. But it's cotton yarn, so it's not like I can, I can make like a decent baby blanket or anything. Um, so I have to find a pattern that I can make with that. No sticker, get, get in there. But I was testing my pattern last night, and I finished it up last night. It's really cool. I made it with this really light green, lime green yarn. And so... I'm sitting here and Mr. Coffee says he has to go to the bathroom. And I was like, all right, let me rewind you a little bit to earlier that day. Now, when my son comes home from the bathroom, or <laughs> when my son gets home from school, he immediately, you know, he'll come home, get his folder and stuff signed because they have to have their folders signed every day to indicate that the parents have looked inside the folder for any important information. So I look inside the folder, I sign the folder, and then he takes off. He takes off for about 15 minutes and I... Ne for a while there, I didn't know where he was going. I thought he was just going to hang out because sometimes he'll make forts in his closet or under his bed to go read. And I thought that's what he was doing. To find out, no, he takes his tablet into the bathroom and will watch YouTube videos while he's using the bathroom. Is this just a guy thing? Like, why is it that men go in the bathroom and they're in there for years? Like, I feel like he's going to get Rip Van Winkle syndrome. So last night after I finished my tester pattern, I'm sitting there and Mr. Coffee said he had to go to the bathroom. I was like, all right, fine. So he goes into the kids' bathroom and he's gone for a few minutes, but I don't pay any attention to it because I'm finishing up my pattern. I'm posting it to, you know, wherever I need to post it to and all this other fun jazz. So I hear what I thought was my kid's TV and I'm like, why is his TV so loud? So I go in Orion's room and, you know, he's fast asleep so I go tuck him in give him a kiss get his book bag and stuff get ready for the next day and I'm like that's not coming for his room it's not coming from Maggie's room and right across the hall from Maggie's room is their bathroom so I go into the bathroom and or I go because there's a walk area where the sink is and then you can go past the sink and that's where the the shower and the toilet are so I go in I, I go in the walk area where the sink is and I hear what sounds like Mr. Coffee in there listening to a movie. And I'm like, are you watching a movie? Well, I'm watching the end of one. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Apparently, over the last week, my husband has watched an entire movie on the toilet. Is this a weird thing that men do? Like, am I the only one that has the weird husband that apparently is sitting in the bathroom for hours on end and I'm thinking something's wrong and no, it's just because he's in there watching movies. Like, he's already finished doing his business, but he's just in there chilling, watching movies. I'm just asking for a friend. Anyways. And then earlier this week, I'm sitting there, and I go... Every night, I tuck the kids in, give them a kiss, get their book bags out of their rooms to set them up for the next morning. So it, Just to make it easier for them to get in and out, you know, whatever. So... I go into Maggie's room and Maggie always makes a mess. Maggie makes a mess because Maggie, when she's told to go to bed, will sit up and play for a little bit and then she goes to bed. No problem. Problem is she doesn't clean up after herself and I can't go to I can't go to sleep if my house is a mess. I don't know what it is. If there's stuff on the floor, I if I don't clean it up and I'm like, oh yeah, forget that. I'm too tired. I'm going to bed. I will wake up in the middle of the night so anxious that I have to get up and clean it life of OCD. It's not cute or pretty. Whatever. Moving on. So I go in, clean up her room, and uh, tuck her in. And she has like 70 pillows on her bed for some god-awful reason. Uses none of them. And no matter how many times I put them away, she continuously will 
sit there and pull them out of the closet and put them all on her bed again. I'm not even joking you. I think there's 10 pillows on her bed. She doesn't even use them, but they're there in case she wants to, I guess. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I take the pillows and I line them up because she has a day bed. So I line them up across the rails and it makes it look neater that way. Why she has to be neat while she sleep, I don't know. It's just my crazy brain, okay? So I, I set them up and I'm like, all right. I go into Orion's room and he, you know, he's asleep. He's watching Family Feud or uh, Family Matters or something like that. And I'm like, dude, you know, the TV is a little loud. So I go turn the TV down. He's asleep because at this point it's like 1230 AM. So I'm like, all right, I need to go ahead and uh, turn this TV down because he thinks he's part deaf and grab his book bag and stuff. Well, then I go to say goodnight to him and give him a kiss. And again, remember, he's asleep. And I see him roll over and I'm like, oh, little jubber bubber. And Mr. Coffee calls and has been calling him Jub, J-U-B, his entire life. We have no clue. We still don't know what that is, but Mr. Coffee thinks it's a thing. So we're just gonna let him go with that. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, get his book bag, tuck him in. I go to kiss my son goodnight. Now this is how you know you have a gamer son, okay? I go to kiss my son goodnight and he yells, not at the top of his lungs, but loud enough that it scared the bejesus out of me. He yells, I need ammo. And I'm like, what the holiest of what? He's dead sleep. He is dead sleep and he yells out, I need ammo. I'm like, you know what? This is why we need to cut down on your video game usage because you ain't gonna be yelling need ammo at me when I'm trying to kiss you goodnight, you weird small human. It's, it, yeah, yeah. So, it, it was, it was a strange encounter and Orion talks in his sleep a lot, but usually he doesn't ask for ammo. So, you know, these things happen. And then the last little story I have for you, cause I'm not gonna make this super long. I got a diamond art club. I purchased one or I got a gift. I got one gifted to me by Mr. Coffee. And sorry. So I, I got a, pack, a gift from Mr. Coffee. He bought me a diamond art club and he didn't look at the, he didn't look at the shipping when he went to go pay for it. So when he, you know, checked out, he just let it go through. And then I get this notification on Saturday that my package was delivered. And I was like, oh, packages here never get delivered this early. Now take it, it's like nine in the morning, okay? One, my family sleeps in until about 10 o'clock when they don't have to get up early. Super nice. Um, so I go check outside the door of my apartment and there's no package. I look at the email again and I see that it was delivered to Oberlin, Ohio. And I'm like, Oberlin? I don't even know where that is. And then I realized, yeah, I do. For Mother's Day, if you guys don't remember, I sent my mom a Mother's Day gift of uh, a diamond painting. She wanted, she, she got the Hamsa elephant. And that was the last kit I bought from Diamond Art Club until he got me the gift. Well, apparently, my Diamond Art Club got sent to my mother-in-law, which is another reason why I have to sit back and wait for it to get here because it went to my mother-in-law in Ohio and then she had to send it back to me here in North Dakota. So that's fun. And all I'm doing is when I put the bat or the drills in, I squish it down to kind of get the air out and then I squish the air out and then pinch it between my fingers here to close it so there's no no air in there. You don't need moisture and all that other grossness in there. So yeah, so this is how I kit down my diamond paintings for those people who are curious. I literally just stick her off into the bag. And I've seen quite a few ways of uh, people storing their diamonds. And I do, or I don't, I'm sorry. I will be making a storage video next week. I was gonna do it this week and then I decided against it. Um, I have enough stuff this week to fill this week up. 
So I'm going to do it next week, probably since you guys aren't going to be getting a uh, Friday Night Live. One, can I just say how nice it is? One, you can't even see what I'm doing. I, I love how nice those Zyron sticker maker stickers come off. Now you have to make sure you get the ones that aren't permanent because they do have ones that are permanent. Don't get those. You want the ones that will come back off. And the box should tell you if it's permanent or not. So, yeah, this is the last one. And literally, I'll show you the whole container here in a few minutes. My dad got me this container for Christmas. He had packaged some stuff in it for the kids, and then I just decided I guess I wasn't giving it back to him. Um, Paul Paul messaged me this morning. He's on his way back to Alabama for work. So. I always make sure he checks in with me just so I for my own peace of mind because I'm always I'm not scared of flying I'm just scared of things that happen when you fly so he's on his way to Alabama that was our last color I did take a box out of another thing so that one doesn't technically go in there so now that we're finished with that I literally there's like no organization to this now that everything's labeled and in their proper bags I take this and I just put them in there. They're labeled, they're in there, it's not neat or organized and I'm completely okay with that. Um, and then my Harbor Freight container, I put that back together. Olaf can stay in there. He ain't hurt nobody. He just likes warm hugs. So we're gonna put that back in there. This is a nice short little video, sorta kinda maybe. But I want to show you the storage container before I let you go. We're just going to put that off to the side there. Hold up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, nope. They're all supposed to be in there. So then, you know, I just kit it down, mother and child. So thank you for helping me with that. I'm just gonna put that sticker in there because why not? So, my baggies from Walmart. And these baggies, I think you get 300 of them for a dollar. So again, check the bead section of your Walmart for these tiny little baggies. I think it's like two and a half by three and a half or something like that. They're, they're nice little baggies if you don't have enough of the uh, China baggies that you get. I, I have people send me those all the time and I, I absolutely love it and appreciate you guys for sending me those the little China baggies. I like those baggies when you can get them open. If you can't get them open, they are a pain in the arse. Anyways, so my Harbor Freight container is all done. It's all kitted down. I literally just put it in this container. As long as it's in the same spot for me, I don't need anything fancy. And I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit and you're gonna see my Minecraft shirt down here. Don't, don't judge me in what I, don't judge me in my downtime apparel. And I have a couple of kits in here, which, you know, it is what it is. Why is there air in that bag? Get all the air out of these bags. And I don't know where Pawpaw got this from. I think I want to say he got it from Michael's, but they don't sell it anymore. So if you know where this container came from, put it down in the comment section. And then there's another container that stacks right on top of it. Let's see if you can line it up correctly. Snap the sides. And there you go. On the top here, I have kits. So like, I have these pens with the wax and all the kits that I have that have diamonds to them that I haven't started yet go in the top and then my leftover drills go in the bottom. Now at some point I will get a storage container. I, I want another one of these but Pawpaw couldn't find any more. So again, if you find one, let a sister know. So yeah, so it's just a double stack container. So on the bottom here is the stuff that I uh, kit down. And then on the top here are the kits that I have yet to work on. Like you see a little Hello Kitty right there. And then that's how I store my extra diamonds. So not only did you get to see me stop, uh, kit down, but you actually got to see me where I put my extra diamonds. That's where they go. That's how I stock them. So yeah, that, that was quick and easy, right? Right, painless. And then, of course, it has a handle, so you can just, you know, put that away. So, I guess that is it for me. I do have an um, 
bagging, I guess, of some crochet hooks from Happily Hooked magazine that I will be putting out later this week in another video. Um, cause if you guys don't know, with the links, with your, with a new subscription to Happily Hooked magazine, you get a set of crochet hooks. So they sent me a set to show you guys and we're going to work on a pattern or something, but I'm thinking like a headband or ear warmers, even though now it's starting to get into spring or I don't know. What would you guys like to see for those who crochet or are learning or what have you? Um, if you have any suggestions, put it down in the comment section. Please remember that you don't want the video to be too long. Like you don't want to sit through a two hour long video on how to make like a shawl or something. So if you have an idea of something quick and easy that you would like to see me make crochet wise with the new hooks that I'm going to be getting, uh, put it down in the comment section. Either way, that's it for me, folks. You've had enough of looking at my Minecraft shirt. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that come back and watch my videos and leave me comments. You guys are the best subscribers on the planet. Why? Because you're my subscribers. Either way, thank you guys so much again for watching. That is how I kit down and store my projects. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them down in the description. No, not in the description. You put, you put your stuff down in the comment section. I put the stuff down in the description, whatever. It's, it's one of those days, folks. Anyways, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them down in the comment section below. I will have all the information for the baggies. I can't link the container because I don't know exactly where my dad got it from, and he couldn't find them anymore in that store either. And I've looked on Michael's and Joann's, and I did not see that storage case. So I do apologize if you want that storage case and can't find it. I'm pretty sure they have something like that probably at Walmart. Um, I, don't, I don't know. But I can't link it because it was a gift to me from my dad. Either way. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down at this point. Really, I don't, I don't really give a crap. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified anytime I randomly put up a video. Let's face it, it's random. Now, it's not random because most of the time I try to have my videos up at 5 in the morning CST, but if I add a second video or not, it's going to be, that's the random part for those wondering. Either way, that was a long explanation. Moving on, I'm jibber jabbering, so I'm going to let you guys go, but as I, I'm going to do like I always do and remind you to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys.